What do you want to say to my subscribers? To your on subscribers? YouTube? Yeah. I want What's the message from Macedonia, from Skopje? Okay. So All the way back to America and other parts of the world. Um, my message is I love vlogs. <laughs>What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're making the most out of your day. My name is Connor Gall. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. It's Sunday afternoon. We're out here burning some calories, checking out the gorgeous canyon behind me, and uh, church was great. Now we're just out thinking about the Lord and taking time to reflect, which if I have some advice to you guys, make sure you take time to reflect. When I say reflection, I'm talking about the idea of like meditation, taking time to remember, and just to be thankful for what's happened the past week. I think we just get caught up in busyness so often. We don't take time to just sit back, talk to God, let Him talk to us in quietness, and, uh, and just rejoice in what He's done for us and the blessings He's given us the past week. So make sure you take time to reflect, get to a quiet place, and think about God, what He's done. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap it up there for Sunday. See you Monday. Hey, happy Monday everybody. It's a beautiful morning, beautiful day. Headed now to the main city square to do some uh, ministry today. Let's go. As you can see, it's a pretty happening Monday. We got like a news reporter over here. We got my man Alexander the Great as a giant statue. This is like the main city square, so to get anywhere you basically have to pass through this spot. Right here, by far one of my favorite spots. A lot of people out, the hustle and bustle is real this Monday morning. Here's some time lapse shots of the city square. Fun fact, there's actually some local elections that were happening last night. I have no idea if it was like mayor or the equivalent of what a mayor is here. But kind of like those smaller elections and last week we actually saw some people protesting. So yeah, that was pretty intriguing to see people come out here in March for what they believe in. I had no idea what it was for, but it's pretty cool. Another side note, this is like an 800 year old bridge from the Ottoman Empire. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's Tuesday now. Not much happened last night. Had dinner with a friend. Now it's Tuesday, woke up, wasn't feeling extremely well, so I worked on the 21st vlog, which is out right now if you haven't seen it. Go check out that video. Um, but yeah, I, I rallied throughout the day, helped out, taught some English classes. Now we're here playing tennis. Not too much is going on. We'll see you Wednesday. What's up guys? It is now Wednesday, feeling much better. Check out this traffic. It's quite, uh, Quite the traffic jam. Strava. How are you? Do you speak any English? A little. So uh, since yesterday, when I saw you guys, I uh, 
I've had some opportunities to do a couple of film projects here in Macedonia. I have time to do it, so I'm headed out to shoot one of the uh, one of the movies. I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to making like promotional videos, but uh, I'm do my best. Thankful for the experience, and uh, thankful to see a new part of the city. my taxi driver and just learned that he is a fellow brother in Christ. He's got his Macedonian Bible here in his taxi. This guy is the man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ciao. Bye bye. Well that was awesome. My uh, taxi driver is a Christian. Awesome to have my path cross with fellow believers just randomly in a taxi here in Macedonia. That was awesome. Got to uh, hang out with some kids. It was kind of like an after school program. They made me this awesome little envelope inside. It's a nice little letter that says thank you for hanging out with us. Hope you like Macedonia. Uh, so that was really cool. Also got to hang out with a friend of mine where we made a visit to somebody's home and got to uh, share a little bit about my faith, which was fantastic. So really, really good afternoon. I think I'm gonna head into the old bazaar hit up the castle, show you guys what's going on in the Albanian section of Skopje, get some food maybe, and uh, go from there. Just gotta find a taxi. Taxi! Got my chestnuts, got my coffee. I'm hanging out with Philip of Macedon. Pretty awesome end to a pretty awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, now it's Thursday. Today is one of those days where I wish I could share more with you guys than I actually can. Uh, it was an awesome, awesome day. Got to help teach some English lessons, uh, had some great conversations, actually a super encouraging conversation not too long ago. And uh, just, yeah, just an awesome day. Um, unfortunately, I can't share it all with you guys. Um, but what I can share is what I just talked about. I just recorded uh, a new segment. I'm gonna link that right below and uh, check it out. Apparently there is a huge soccer excuse me, football match tonight, and a ton of people are out supporting, I guess, Macedonia. The colors are different, but look at all these guys. There's a ton of them. They're passionate about football here. There's no doubt about it. Hey, yo, it's Friday. We got a beautiful day ahead of us going up into the mountains to uh, do some ministry among the people. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, this, by the way, is the view from the balcony of the apartment that I'm staying at. Gorgeous.
Okay guys, so down here is the village that we're headed to to do some work and uh, we are actually right now we are right like on the border of Macedonia and Kosovo. I mean just check this out guys, this is just so so beautiful. I, I can't get enough of this view and I'm so happy to bring you guys here. If you're ever in Macedonia, please take a drive through these mountains. It's gorgeous. Okay, so we made it to the village uh, in the mountains. So most of the people here are Albanians. They speak Albanian. Um, and uh, interesting fact, when Macedonia became a country, uh, a lot of the territory that belonged to Albania became Macedonian. So um, it got absolved into Macedonia. So a lot of the Albanians now found themselves living in Macedonia, like, like these people. And uh, which is why Macedonia is like 25% Albanian, which is a pretty gigantic percentage. So constantly you'll be seeing like the Macedonian flag, which is this flag right here. But then you'll also be seeing the Albanian flag, which is this flag right here. So we're hanging out with the, Mas with the uh, Albanians today in the village. So right now we are inside one of the houses uh, giving clothes to this family and some other villagers. That's what it looks like. It's super cold here in the winter. Um, they get like isolated for a couple months because the snow just covers all the roads in and out. So give them some nice warm winter clothes. Okay, so we just had a fabulous meal. We're about to wrap things up and go to another village. Um, I just want to show you guys really quick. This uh, minaret um, is uh, right above the mosque. So even though, you know, they don't have a ton out here in the village, they still are very dedicated to their religion. And it just always challenges me as a Christian to consider, you know, how dedicated am I to my belief um, as a Christian and also uh, just increases the burden for places just like this in uh, the hills of Macedonia. So, heading to another village. Okay, here we are at the other village. Uh, right down here is a couple of the homes. We're gonna go hang out with these guys. The GoPro is about to die. It's running out of battery. Um, so I think I'm gonna end Friday here, guys. Thanks so much for coming along. We'll see you tomorrow. We are back, and yes, the sweater is also back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for coming with me from Sunday to Saturday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of Skopje. This place is really awesome and really beautiful, and I'm glad that I got to share it with you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would also be awesome. Uh, we got more awesome content coming right here uh, from Macedonia, so be sure to tune in next time. Uh, until then, guys, peace.